Welcome back to Dusty For You. We've got a huge haul video for you today. When Simon and I were both at the thrift store bins for about an hour and a half collecting stuff to buy it by the pound and we came away with so much fantastic stuff. Um, we're doing the little pan footage here. You can see most all of it. I'm going to highlight just a few items for you, some of my favorites. So be sure to stay tuned for that right after the drone footage finishes and we run through our little intro. start with the dice that we got this time which we got pretty good quantity and really great quality check these out if you'll see these are some of my favorites ever these uh countdown dice i think they came from uh some sort of space game space themed game from what i could tell but they've got those great digital numbers or the old school digital and um, I, I'm not sure how they work, but they uh, instantly make me think of the like the bomb countdowns, the little clocks and stuff. And then uh, another one of these neat ones. And then this antique looking red die with gold pips. That's pretty neat. I'm not sure what that's from, but that's great. And then some white ones. Look at this big one. It's kind of dirty a little bit, but you know, it's made of similar material it's not quite as heavy as you'd expect but um, that's a beautiful dice haul let's get those back in a metal bucket which also came in the haul we got two of these actually It'd be great for sorting add those to the dice bin now I'll just grab some random things. We got that, like this one. This is a little uh, bottle of reindeer food. There's two little carrots inside of this corked bottle. It's really fun. And then right beside it back here, this is really neat. I gotta look this up and see what the deal is, but it's a uh, under the sea, Glass Baron Mermaid. It says decorated with crystals and with 22 karat gold accents. It's really pretty. It's glass, it's got the colors. You can see sort of the rainbow colored glass through her tail. Yeah, Glass Baron Handmade Glass Art. Mermaid Under the Sea. Not a toy. Wow, that's really neat. Glad it managed to survive life in the bins without breaking. Oh, this is really cool. Speaking of under the sea. This is like a, almost like an angler fish or something, but it's been 3D printed. And so it's got these moving plastic parts that are interconnected. Isn't he wild? I love him. Reminds me if you've eaten at the Bonefish Grill. Kind of like their logo. He's really cool. Kind of shiny, that 3D printed material. I mean, this was kind of random. Got a prescription <laughs> drug bottle Christmas wreath. <laughs> I like this side more because it's just blank with no explanation but if you turn it around it's got a little little silliness it's got a bow some RX labels and it says uh, doctor's orders on the little prescription pad down here I mean, it's actually a hallmark ornament apparently I guess you can buy prescription pill bottle wreath ornaments at hallmark who knew This is going to be a little precarious for me to get it, but I wanted to show you this photograph we got. It's an old photo, a childhood photo, but I just, man, I love it. Look at her face. I can't get it all too well on this. Uh, I can turn it sideways for you. 
Isn't she great? <laughs> She's so over the photo process. Unfortunately, there's no information on the back that tells us when it's from. Just uh, Avalon Portrait Studios, Longview, Texas. Maybe I can Google them and get some sort of time frame. Hopefully it'll clean up. I'll have to see. I'm going to Google that too. I'm not sure how to clean photographs safely. But I want to get it cleaned up and maybe reframe it. And right beside her back here. Got this random sheet of stamps. Looks like it was framed at one time. They're all from the... Uh, different so there's Martinique Antigua different places Montserrat Dominica really neat little stamps I don't know can you see the date on any of the postmarks I'm not sure I haven't looked these up or anything they don't look like they're permanently attached to the sheet it's very uh Looks like they'll pop off, but I haven't tried. Thought that was kind of cool. They merited being put on a sheet, so. I mean, they're interesting to me. This was kind of cool. It was in a uh, a broken piece of like a, a lawn, something you put in your yard. It was like a, uh, metal coil that had this you've probably seen these in people's yards but there's a solid glass red glass ball do the mc escher thing check out our hall through the through the glass upside down i love that and then of course no dust euphoria Thrift store haul is complete without some rubber ducks and didn't disappoint on this haul. It's got them all lined up here in the back. Look at this one. <laughs> it's got like, it looks like little pig ears, but I'm not sure. And then this gray one, silver. Pink, glitter blue. Another Minecraft duck. I love these. Got a little thing on his face there. And then these aren't rubber ducks, but they deserve to be shown here. Look at these tiny little ducks. I'm not sure what these are from. They're like a game accessory. They don't look like Lego pieces. But we'll add them to the duck family. For a family photo. Look at that. <laughs> uh, rubber duckies, they're the best. All right, let's put them back home for now before they join their friends which they have a lot of friends at this point we've gotten a lot of rubber duckies since we started this all right the last thing I wanted to highlight it's gonna be a little tricky to get to here Success. Lynn Cinnamon found this. It is a mermaid tail purse with sequins. And then it's silver on the back. And the strap is silver. <laughs> oh, this is the best. And you know, it zips up at the top. Isn't that so neat? Ooh, 
Ooh, it's kind of that purple lavender color inside. It's a justice purse. That is so neat. Oh boy, I almost knocked my stage over. Now we got the ultimate challenge of getting this back where it goes. Okay, that does it for the highlights from this haul. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We've got lots more hauls to go through and we're constantly getting new stuff and we love sharing it with you. And be sure to check us out on TikTok. We've been doing some fun stuff over there. Um, once again, thanks so much and I will see you in the next video.